and we're going over new Google business profile optimization never before seen by man woman or child plus we're giving you five hacks that you've never seen before and for the name sayers non-believers and the underachiever we've got results by doing nothing but optimizing the google business profile itself and no name change because i know y'all little clowns out there think that's exactly what we did not this one cowboy so let's jump into it. how are we going to do this first off i want to show you how google understands and processes the data on a google business profile move my head but google the absolute giant conglomerate that it is goes around and scrapes data from everywhere that's all you need to know it's called entity extraction we don't need to go over this a whole lot but it doesn't read the entire page but it pulls things called entities out of that page then it goes through something called entity linking in this example as you can see we have will smith there's three they needs to find the right will smith is it the actor is it the rugby player is it the football player next is rail or the relation extraction it's just going to look at keywords around that to find the relationship of the entity I know, shocker, right? Entity pairing, this is basically where we're gonna try to do Google's job for it and pair the entities and services and locations that we want. Who cares, why does this help? It's, we are going to match these entities up for Google and get a boost in our rankings. Pause to read, I'll show you how to do this. Pack number one, GMB name, not the greatest hack in the world, but I've got a bonus hack at the end, so. We're called even. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna try to add our keywords and locations into the business name and I'll show you what that looks like right here. Here's the tree service, Google My Business Profile. I don't even know if the phone number works. I don't know, I just had it forever. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out because I put my money where my mouth is. Right here we have Westland Tree Service. That's just not gonna do. So let's go ahead and get this a little something, something special on it. A little plainless, a little shameless plug. Mastermind, we have a thing called the cheat code. That is absolutely bananas on what the results everyone's getting. And that, once again, is just by optimizing the listing. That's it. That's all they're doing. Let's get back into it. So we're going to change this from Westland Tree Service. Westland Tree Trimming and Removal Portland. Real original, right? I know. Now let's all say a little Hail Mary real quick. That, that doesn't suspend. A warning. You proceed at your own apparel. This is not financial advice. This is not GMB advice. This is the number one thing that most people just can't seem to understand. They don't think your categories and your services are important, but I'm here to tell you as I'm preaching the GMB gospel, your categories and your services, your services are the doorway, your listing to show up for keywords that you want. Promise you this, finding the right category or the categories, primary category number one, it should be your most relevant. I mentioned here, don't go for the broad ones like home services, contractors. Those things are not going to help. Name is through. We're good to go. And the good Lord is looking out for us. For our primary category, we choose tree service. And for a secondary, we're going to go ahead and add Aborist service. Although I am a fan of single category GMBs. What happens is people add too many services and spread them out too thin. You're only going to get so much juice with those categories. But a tree service and an average, whatever you say that, is uh, pretty much the same thing, although the average is someone that apparently goes to school for cutting trees. Now, how do I find the categories? What are the easy way to do that? And that is through finding who's ranking and what are the categories they're doing, right? And if you use the plea pair plugin, it will automatically analyze a keyword search for you so you can see who's ranking and what are them categories. Just don't get confused when you see this, you'll see service establishment. That just means that they are a service-based business. They have no address, they have no storefront, so that's not really a category. There's, your, there's a little tip of the day. Now, adding your services, this is the most important part in my humble opinion. And basically what we are going to do is add our keywords inside of the services. And we cannot forget about the service descriptions. For the example, we've got tree trimming, pruning, removal, emergency tree service, yada yada. Those are gonna be what we add. Secondly, don't go broad here. Which leads us to our next hack number tray that will get that listing to pop for that keyword. Now, I'm a huge fan of getting my data from Google directly, even over some stupid expensive tool. 
what we're gonna do is search a target keyword here and we're gonna look for this snippet that says provides. This is directly pulled from the services inside of that Google listing profile. I'm gonna show you where that is next. Here's another one for plumbing, right? Water heater installation, water heater repair. You go to the local services, the map pack basically. You're going to find a services tab and these are the services for that business. Remember, you just need one service technically to get that listing to pop for that particular keyword. And hack number three, this is the service descriptions. I haven't heard much anybody honestly talk about this. We've tested it, it works adding your keywords as a service and then also adding those keyword variants on top of a benefit that a customer receives and if you can mix in a location you got a recipe for banging ranking ranking as you can see for this service here we've got tree removal and here's our description let's look at the keywords certified aboris tree removal services in portland or oregon specialized equipment techniques minimal impact on your property that's it folks on top of the price we always want to add some type of number there we just so what i normally choose is a little bit of a cheaty but we can go from either one dollar ninety nine dollars fifty dollars depending on what it is although i don't think there's a, any huge ranking benefits from doing that but as you can see we've hit our other main services our stump grinding tree removals tree trimming and added a free quote. You can also go into your secondary and add a different type of variant to that keyword. I'm not going to bother. Now for the best kept secret in all of SEO, Google business description and send you to the moon. If you use your target keywords, focus on a benefit and hit the proximity. This is one of my favorite ways to push some of that geo relevancy as the kids would say inside of the description by utilizing points of interest or and or local landmarks imperative for near me searches so how do we build it we've got serving all of portland including neighborhoods like downtown west side southwest portland we offer here's our keywords tree trimming pruning removal stuff removal and emergency services certified arborist and ensuring the health and beauty of your trees followed by some more portland easy peasy lemon squeezy and we only did filled it half. We could have done it a lot more. Now we go on to hack number five, really four, but we got the bonus one, and that is the products. I've seen listings get suspended because they want to be slick and add their services in as your product. That's not the way to do it. You're smarter than that. And Google is smarter than that, and they'll see it and they will kick you in the nuts. I promise. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use our local keywords and real physical products. Pause will be the example. So for this example, we've got a stump grinder as a product. Our category is going to be tree removal equipment. As you can see, that is our keyword and our description is blah, 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 blah. You know how the deal is. So as you can see, we've got our product name, our category and our description. I'm not linking this to a landing page. I have not seen a benefit of that. Although once again, my opinions are willing to change and we've got a beautiful picture that has been optimized, but you gotta be a part of the mastermind if you wanna get the nitty gritty on that. And as you can see, we've got our products have been approved outside of the one we just clicked on or just did. We are good to go. Now, this is the bonus hack that I was promised, which could be hack number five, depending on how you wanna look at it. And that is the service area. I get so many people get this wrong and do this completely the wrong way. First thing we wanna do is that we want to go broad as broad as we can with the least amount of entries for example we're just going to do portland oregon but if you're like a big plumbing company you might need to add four or five six. next now here's the hack i like to call this the double dipper all right so what inside of portland or that broad service area do we want to hyper focus on and that we have been using the entire time southwest portland right hyper targeted the same area twice hence the term double dipping you can do this as much as you like without going too far out that would be the biggest warning if you read the terms of service i believe it's like a two hour driving or something like that but you have a limited of service areas that you can utilize do not use zip codes 
that is not working. As you can see, we've basically double dipped the entire service area of Portland, Oregon. If you need some help, Google the city and take a look at the region, like zip codes or like super tiny little neighborhoods. That's not gonna work. It's probably not even gonna be an option. Oh, it looks like I missed a couple there, but as you can see, we've got our service area. We've double dipped everything. Hey, we got a two hour webinar. That's right, two hour webinar of GMB optimization. Watch me. Last time we did this, we charged $2.99. We're giving it away this time. It should be illegal. But not only are we gonna do this live over the shoulder style training, you're gonna be able to ask me questions specifically, be able to pick the mind of a maniac of two hours, I'm willing to stay for three if needed to answer questions and be of value in any way, shape or form that I possibly can. Now's your time. Monday, June 10th, 2024, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. SEO services, brockmeister.com and the mastermind, the men amongst men and women amongst women, localseo.learnist.com forward slash learn that. Yes, yeah, someone asked me the other day, is that still going on? Yes, it is. And it still will be going on until the end of August. Matter of fact, I just recorded a bunch of videos and I'm in the process of editing to update current modules. That's crazy. Who does that? Who is dropping courses and updating modules months later? This guy. That's who. Peace.